Capacitance calculations. So here we're going to deal with how to calculate the capacitance of any device. And the procedure is very simple. We evaluate the potential difference between the two conductors. And capacitance can be calculated from C is equal to delta Q over delta V. Remember that capacitance is the capacity to store charge under the application of a potential difference delta V. Uh, here is an important point. If we think about a single conductor, not two conductors, even a single conductor has a capacitance with respect to a conductor at infinity. So when you take a single conductor, you can also talk about the capacitance of that if you consider it's with respect to another conductor at infinity. The first example we will uh, study is the spherical charged conductor. So here we have two concentric spheres. Uh, the conductor inside is charged to plus Q. And as you know, the charges are residing on the surface of the conductor uh, because of mobile electrons. Uh, and we have zero electric field inside, but we have an electric field outside. It is surrounded by another concentric sphere, spherical conductor, which has charge minus Q, which also resides on its surface. And uh, the electric field lines point from the positive charges to negative charges, so they are pointing radially outward. And A is the radius of the inner sphere, and uh, we have uh, the outer sphere maybe has a radius capital R, but we're, we're looking at the electric field as a function of radial distance R from the center of this configuration. So we can write down Gauss law, the closed surface integral E dot dA, the total electrical flux is equal to the charge enclosed Q divided by epsilon zero. Which one is the Gaussian surface I'm considering here? That's this red uh, sphere, which has radius R. So this is basically Gauss law. This is written in the region between the inner uh, sphere and outer sphere. Since the electric field lines point radially outward, uh, the electric field vector and the area vector, remember, uh, the dA vector here, also points radially outward. So the dot product gives me E dA, and the electric field is only a function of radial distance R, so it's a constant, it comes out of the integral. So electric field times 4 pi R squared, the surface area of the inner, uh, of the Gaussian surface, is equal to the charge enclosed, uh, the total charge enclosed by this surface is Q divided by epsilon zero. So you can see that this sphere encloses a total charge plus Q. So this gives us our familiar result. The electric field is one over four pi epsilon zero, which is Coulomb's constant K, Q divided by R squared, where we have R greater than A. And uh, if I call the radius of this uh, sphere, radius is B, then this is going to be between R greater than A, but also R less than B. So that's in between the two. The potential as a function of R, B of R, uh, uh, going from uh, B, radial distance B to R, is basically minus the integral B to R, E dot dS. And my dS vector here is the R vector, so this is minus integral B to R, E dot dR. And this dR vector will have a negative uh, value, right? So if I go from the higher radius to lower radius, uh, the integral of kq over r squared dr gives me minus kq over r. So I have a minus sign here, and the integral gives me minus 
uh, kq over r which is to be evaluated between b and r so this is going to give me kq over r minus kq over b where b is the radius of the outer uh, spherical conductor okay so what is the potential at r is equal to a at r is equal to a i evaluate the potential at r is equal to a it is kq over a minus kq over b so uh, the capacitance is then delta q over delta v so it's basically equal to k over a minus k over b to the power minus 1 okay so uh, it is q divided by v so a, i have v divided by q k over a minus k over b so it's q divided by v so it's uh, k over a minus k over b to the power minus one that's the capacitance of this configuration inner conductor has charge plus q outer conductor has charge minus q and inner conductor has radius a outer conductor has radius b now if this is a single conductor then b is at infinity so i can say that i have a capacitance c is equal to k over a to the power minus one and this is basically equal to since k is one over four pi epsilon zero four pi epsilon zero <coughs> times a so it is a over k a over k is 4 pi epsilon 0 a so that's the capacitance of the uh, single conductor so we have a spherical spherical charged conductor single conductor its capacitance is defined with, with respect to another uh, conductor at infinite distance all right so uh, what does this tell me it tells me that the higher the radius of the conductor spherical conductor the higher the capacity to store charge why is that we have an increasing surface area so we simply have more space to store charges and therefore we can say that the capacitance basically uh, is going to increase with uh, proportionally with the increase in radius a okay so here we have talked about uh, the general uh, strategy to calculate capacitance well you what you need to know is uh, the potential difference between two conductors and uh, by dividing the delta q divided by delta v we obtain the capacitance so it's a very simple procedure and even if it's a single conductor we can say that it has a capacitance with respect to a conductor at infinity so we considered a spherical capacitor first which consists of two concentric spheres radius a and radius b uh, by evaluating the Gauss law, the closed surface integral E dot dA for the Gaussian surface, which has a radius R in between A and B, we can find the electric field lines pointing from the inner uh, sphere to the outer sphere. And we see that this electric field is simply KQ over R square. The potential of uh, potential at R with respect to the potential at b can be calculated as minus the integral b to r e dot ds this comes from electric field is minus gradient of potential remember and 
a ds vector is the r vector here which has a negative value because we're going from higher radius to lower radius so this is minus the integral kq over r squared dr is going to give us minus kq over r so it's kq over r minus kq over b if b is infinite then we are called considering the capacitance of a single spherical conductor with respect to infinity that is 4 pi epsilon 0 a so it th this tells us that the higher the radius of this uh, conductor the spherical conductor the higher the capacitance will be therefore the higher the capacity to store charge will be